I just reinstalled my Windows server somewhere to new hardware, and I don't have the SCSI drivers installed, but I can't boot my Windows installation to install the driver because I don't have the SCSI drivers installed. What's a guy to do? Ah! Calm down. We're going to show you how to use Wisdom to solve this exact issue. Coming up next. Welcome to Tech Topics brought to you by CyberVenger. We help keep small businesses stay protected and compliant with cutting-edge cybersecurity and IT solutions. Okay, JSM, one of my favorite tools from Microsoft. One of the, one of the occasions where Microsoft actually really got it right. Uh, I often bash Microsoft, so kudos to Microsoft for this one, right? You know, got to be fair. Uh, let's take a look down here. I've got a Windows PE environment set up already. Uh, I've already loaded the SCSI drivers on here so we can see it. Here's our Windows box that I'm trying to resurrect ostensibly. Um, ignore this drive. That's for another video. So I already loaded the drivers and into CD-ROM. There they are. And we're going to go to our command prompt. And what we're going to do is first we're going to make sure that our drive really is correct drive. Yep. Look at C. There we go. There's our Windows. That's, that's, that is the folder we're looking for. Go back to X here. Dism, and we are going to go to the image file. So, image. And then add driver. And then the path to driver in this case, our CD-ROM is D. This is D, right? Vertigo. Yes, in this case, it happens to be D. And then recurse is a very useful option because it won't just look in the D drive root for drivers, but it'll sub check the subfolder. So if you look here in our folder here, I got a bunch of drivers. This is the file. This is the driver disk that comes with Proxmox. If I need to install all the drivers, I could just point the D, which we're going about to do. If I wanted just the SCSI one, I could dilt drill down and try and find which one of these is SCSI, like here, VIO SCSI, we could do that. Like I could put uh, D in VIO SCSI if I just wanted the SCSI drivers. But I'm going to do everything because I don't have to worry about my network card drivers, my chipset drivers, all that stuff. And here we go. All right, now it says operating completed, operations completed successfully, still blinking like it's working. I just whacked the enter key and there we go, we're back. So it's been actually finished. And we are going to shut this puppy down and reboot. All right, so that's the first half of this video where we do the driver install. And you can see that we did it on an offline installation of Windows. So this is like a Windows system crashed and you had to replace a SCSI card driver. And it was a SCSI card and you didn't have the driver for it installed. It's one way. Or if you restore that backup to dissimilar hardware that didn't have the card that the driver that the Windows system had the driver for, that kind of thing. But we can also do this for offline WIM files. So I think in another video, we've done Windows 11 imaging. Well, what if you're trying to image something like a Windows server or maybe Windows 11 even to a hardware platform where it doesn't have all the drivers? You could do this with just the WIM file before you even try deploying it. You can pre-pack that thing with every driver you can think of for all the hardware across your organization. We're going to show you that demonstrated next. So we have our F drive. It's got our... WIM file on it. You see that here. There it is. We also have a C. We also have an F mount directory that I created. Just an empty directory. There's nothing in it. See, that's it. But that's important to have because what we're going to do is we are going to run this command here. So dism mount dash image image file, and then that is our image file that we're coming from. So pretend this is a Windows 11 image that we have and we need some drivers before we deploy it out mass right index one this is uh, something you can configure when you capture it if one is kind of the default uh, so if one doesn't work try two or three or zero or something one is most common and then mount dirt this is where we're going to effectively extract that WIM file to so we're kind of basically extracting it to real directory modifying it and then we're going to close it back out by pushing it back in the WIM file so, uh, C, I did not have enough space on, so we're going to use F. And then we're going to mount it. And it just does take a while. In fact, I'm going to pause the video here. It takes a good 5, 10 minutes to do this, depending on the size of your WIM file. So here, just slowly tick it around. 
finally completed that took about uh, oof, many minutes, I'd say. Uh, now that we have that here, we can run our driver command. Just type in ism. And last time we were using our C drive. This time we're going to use F in mount. And then add driver. That's going to be our... Uh, Recurse, just like we did. It was physical. Finished. So there's our drivers. Now all we gotta do is to unmount it. Come command is just we type our unmount command here. DS and unmount image. Mount there and that's the directory header there and commit and now it's going through and dismounting it and taking all of our changes and applying it back to the one file. Okay, so now we've seen how to add drivers to both an offline Windows deployment and to the source WIM file in case we're doing deployment and we want to make sure the drivers are there before we try loading on the machine. Hopefully that helps you guys out with both your Windows imaging efforts and with server recovery, should you ever have to do that. And if you want to find out more about this as a tool, we're going to be going over FX packages and how to install updates offline as well. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has provided valuable information to you. Be sure to share this video with other small business owners to spread the word about the importance of cybersecurity. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want more information about cybersecurity visit us at www.cybervenger.com.